In Conzo now, a new storm drain being constructed in West Reno will affect the roadways there. All right, let's show you where exactly. The Highland Canal storm drain project is being built in West Reno along 4th Street. Beginning this morning and continuing for the next three weeks, roads will be closed on West 4th Street in both directions between Exit 8 off Interstate 80 and Woodland Avenue. Andy Guevara explains what the project is all about. Part of the road has already been moved away to make way for the six foot wide storm drain that will be placed here. Next, up the hillside, a 20% grade, then along the Highland Canal. It's high above West 4th Street overlooking the Truckee River. It carries the water that we drink, but it also catches a lot of runoff debris and animal waste. The storm drain will catch all of that before it hits the canal. Major storms can produce um, sediments and erosion that basically cause nutrients to the water. And so um, separating those waters in a storm drain will actually keep the erosion from um, causing stormwater quality impacts. The debris filled water will get routed to the Truckee River via the new storm drain. The water in the canal will stay cleaner, saving time and money at the Tumwa Treatment Center. The Western Regional Water Commission is providing funding as well as the Truckee River Fund and also um, Tumwa, the Truckee Meadows Water Authority. The City of Reno and Washoe Counties are also um, providing the construction um, oversight. The total cost of the project is more than $4 million. The road work is what will have West 4th Street from Woodland to I-80 closed to cars and cyclists in both directions until mid-April. But the entire project will take nine months. So we're asking for the public's patience and, um, and to use those detour routes to also look at Reno.gov or road closures for more information on how they can navigate through this area. Covering Cone Zone, Andy Guevara, Channel 2 News. For more information on the Highland Canal Storm Drain Project or the latest road closure information, we've set up links for you on our website, ktvn.com. Just click on the online version of this story.